Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. We are making our way to the Broken Steel DLC. Whoa, oh, what'd you find, Sharon? Couple of raiders? Glad that's over. Yep, that was a couple of raiders. Alright, anyway, we are making our way right now to the northeast corner of the map to find a Tesla coil, some kind of magical doodad for the Brotherhood. They wanted some item that will help them in the fight against the Enclave, so that's where we're headed. We are currently here near the Super Duper Mart, and we need to head northeast past this Wheaton Armory, which I'm going to check out on the way, past the Temple of the Union, which is probably empty, and all the way up to Old Oni and, yeah, this general area where the Enclave apparently are. So, that's what we're doing. Now, I'm not alone, of course. Sharon is still with me. He's... Died a couple of times, but he's come back stronger than ever each time, wearing this really strong power armor, so having him by my side should make things a lot easier. Nevertheless, I do want to pick off any enemies before they get close to me, so I'm glad I have this sniper rifle. I'm going to try and use it to make sure that we don't get flanked. And of course, as soon as I say that, we get flanked. But because Sharon is so awesome, it doesn't even phase him. He just kills anything. Just beautiful. Now, I have some problems right now. A little irradiated, that's easily solved with some rat away. But, on the other hand, I also have opiate withdrawal. I was addicted to morphine for a while, and I never got that fixed. So, I'm eventually going to have to get that solved. And aside from that, I've also got evil karma, and I don't want evil karma. I want neutral karma. So I need to find a way to get my karma back up to neutral if I can. I don't want to be attacked by regulators, and I want to be able to use my impartial mediation perk. So that is just a side task that we need to accomplish if we have the ability. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take cover inside this building. Got him. <laughs> All right. I, I apparently have stumbled into some kind of raider territory. Uh, oh, it's the Wheaton Armory. Okay, so I... Did find the Wheaton Armory, but unfortunately it has been taken over by raiders, so might be a little difficult to navigate through here. Heading up the stairs. Okay, he takes out that raider. Looks like the raider was shooting at something over here, but I don't see it. What were you firing at? Oh, it's Enclave. Oh, it's Enclave. No, no, no. I didn't want I did not want to confront the Enclave. Alright. Sharon, you're gonna die. You're gonna die if you try and take on the Enclave. Ow, ow. Oh no! Oh, death claws! Death claws! It's the death claw. I can't control that one apparently. Need you to mess with me. All right, good. No more enclave. Good grief! This thing was death claw alpha. Yeah, that explains why it does so much damage. Yeesh. Well, I probably should not have stopped here because I have not found anything useful except enemies. The enemies were pretty strong. I thought maybe because this is a place. Oh, here we go. I haven't checked this out yet. All right, no one attacks us as soon as we walk in the door. It's a good sign. But I am under no delusions. I'm sure we're going to get into combat here. Well, aside from a small amount of drugs and ammunition, there was not a whole lot in here. So let's make our way back out. I think we're done here. Yep, that did not really feel like that was worth it. But it's fine. Just keep advancing to the north. And maybe there's something in the back of this truck here. Well, just a little bit more ammo, but aside from that, no, not really. Not a whole lot in here. There's a there's a lot of little stuff here. Just a, you know, a couple caps here, a little bit of drugs here, two shells here, a couple bullets there. Just a lot of... I wouldn't say nothing, but it's just still a little disappointing. Well, let's keep heading north. We need to get out of here and make our way to that Enclave headquarters or camp, I guess. What'd you find, wild boar? Go ahead and murder that pig. It's fine by me. I'll just blow up that lizard too. Oh, and some wildlife over here as well. Little gecko. Dead. What's inside this? Oh, requires key. Really? Just an unmarked shack that requires a key, huh? All right, well, just disregard it. Go around. Hello? Random slaver, right? Not hostile. Let me be blunt. Go away. Oh, well, let me be more blunt. Light him up! We'll get him. 
Okay, we're getting close now. We just need to keep following the remnants of this road, and it'll, I think it'll take us right to where we need to be. And while we're on the road, it's going to take us to some place that's marked on my map as being called the Grizzly Diner. So let's check this out briefly. I see a landmine. I see at least one landmine. At least two landmines. Okay. Watch out. This, this diner is booby-trapped for some reason. Okay. And this one. I have discovered the Grizzly Diner. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... A pretty grisly sight, honestly. Found you. Oh, oh, sounds like we've been ambushed. Not terribly surprising. Although they don't stand much of a chance. Unless I stand and blow myself up on a landmine. Then they probably will stand quite a lot of a chance. Okay. I'm all crippled now. Take out this brotherhood that's been fallen. Take him down. Sharon has cleaned up everybody else. Let me just... Yeah, let me just try and fix my body now. Let's check this out again, hopefully without getting exploded this time. Um... Was that you, Sharon? Because I don't think that was me. Oh, it was it a motorcycle that exploded? Alright, never mind. Uh, there was some stuff back here. A missile launcher, Chinese assault rifle, and some ammunition. And... Uh, there's some food in the fridge, too. I'll take some of that, too. I might be getting a little hungry. Alright, really not a whole lot else here, I don't think. So, oh, never mind. Keller, oh, that's the last of the Keller family transcripts. I think I've got all five of them now. I got one through five of five. So, I don't know what to do with that. I know they're giving me a code for an entrance to a bunker somewhere, but I don't know where I would go for that. If that doesn't work, well, I have a backup plan. There's this secure bunker, another sort of vault inside the National Guard Depot, and... Look, no matter what it National takes, Guard the National Guard Depot family's gonna ride this storm out, but you've got to get your ass home now. Fort Bannister? Maybe it's Fort Bannister he's talking about. I don't know. National Guard Depot. Oh, here we go. National Guard Depot. It's, I think, either in DC or right on the outskirts of DC. But I'm pretty far away, oh, pretty far away right now, but on the way back. Yeah, maybe I'll just stop by the National Guard Depot and see what that's all about. If that's actually where I'm supposed to go for this. Uh, no time to think about that now. I see a Deathclaw over there. Yeah, that's a Deathclaw Alpha. This is where I'm supposed to go, apparently. Let me just try and take this guy out. Got him in the arm. Took him down. Hey. Oh, looks like there's one more over here. Oh, hello, hello. Was that a raider? Highwayman. Oh, Highwayman had a stim pack, thank you. Interesting. And this Deathclaw here is not hostile. Ooh. I did not open that cage. There you are. Where? There's an Enclave soldier up here. Okay, that one is on our side. Good. But he's not going to last long because I can't control the Deathclaw Alpha, apparently. Yeah, Deathclaw Alpha is not on my side. Get out of here. Yep. Okay. That one is dead. Super Mutant Enforcer is dead. Oh, are you still fighting, Sharon? Who are you shooting at now? You're missing pretty badly. Another Enclave soldier. I'm just gonna wait for him to pop his head out. There you go, you chump. Well, I came here to pick up this Deathclaw, but he died pretty quickly, so I guess I'm not going to after all. Alright, I have to make my way to the other waypoint now. Unless there's something good around here, but I doubt it. Okay, we're heading into Olney again. Old Olney. Well, I guess this is the first time for you, Sharon. Ooh. See combat, which could be good, but probably bad. Energy weapons usually do not mean anything good for me. Yep, looks like more Enclave. Oh, no. I think that's a, that's a Brotherhood Outcast. Okay, well, luckily for me, Brotherhood Outcasts have come by and cleaned the area. Thank you, thank you. Makes my job a lot easier. I might be able to use this to my advantage if I can... This guy's moving pretty slowly, but if I could, like, lure enemies into his line of fire, he might function as another companion. Maybe. 
But then again, I don't I don't see very many death claws. I think I've cleared out most of this area my first run through here, so it's probably gonna be easy going. At least that's what it looks like so far. Not being attacked. I'm just running the rubble right now and I don't see anybody, which is a really good sign. I don't even hear anything running around, so I think we're in the clear. And I'm going down here. Yeah, only sewers. Did not run into a single death claw. Thank you for the stim pack. Alright, let's jump right in, I guess. Anything down here? Um Yeah, I don't see anything down here. This might have been the sewer that I was down in once, so if that's the case. Probably not going to be a whole lot down here. And this ladder? I can take this ladder now. Good. Last time I came here it was not functional, but now it is. Old only underground. What the? Ghoul, hello. How the hell did you get in here, smooth skin? I, I just climbed the ladder. Who are you and what are you doing in here? Hey, uh, I'm Wynn. Uh, this is Kid. We're, uh, well, it's kind of a long story. Only thing that matters now is that we're trying to steer clear of the death claws on account of not wanting to be lunch meat. I can understand that, but there aren't so many death claws around, so I'm not afraid of them. Yeah? Well then you're stupid. Where do you think they're all coming from, huh? Goddamn nest down here. Take it from me, kid. You stay down here, you're gonna die. But hey, it's your funeral, right? Me and kid, we're getting out of here. Figure the way you came's gotta be pretty clear if you're still alive. It actually is, yeah. Alright, well, that was a very brief conversation. But if there's a death claw nest down here, I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Dirty water. Nope. Don't want dirty water. I'd prefer some aqua pura if I could find some, but I doubt we're gonna find some down here. Alright, let's clear out this death claw nest. What a bunch of chumps. You know what? They're probably scared because they don't have superior firepower on their side like we do. So I can understand why those losers would be scared. But I think you and me, we're gonna be fine. Hello, Badger. Badger is a dead ghoul. He has nothing on him. Never mind. And Connolly. Uh, I'm not sure. Yep, dead ghoul. Alright, a couple more dead ghouls down here. And another one. Dunbar. Dunbar's got a note on him. And Carl. Okay, I guess these guys are all part of a larger group, and only two of them made it out. If you're reading this, it's because you might be able to help. We're thinking about branching out. Underworld was a good start, but we found an even safer place for us to call a new home in Old Olney. No one goes there. No one would ever think to look for us. Yeah, yeah. All right. They were trying to set up another ghoul headquarters, but it did not work out for them, it looks like. Oh, hey, another dead ghoul. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Come here, you death claw matriarch. Oh. Ow. I'm glad that's over. Thank you for covering me, Sharon. Yeah, death claw matriarch was not too tough compared to this alien weaponry. Nothing good on you. Probably nothing good on this corpse you just threw down. Sanders. Nope, he's dead. A couple of medical braces, I'll take those. Could come in quite handy. Any surgical supplies, maybe? Some psycho. There may be danger here. There probably is. Hey. There's one. There. Hello. Try and get through the door, you idiot. Don't even know how to use a doorknob. Oh god, he knows how to use a doorknob. Let's get out of here. Or she, because it's a death claw matriarch. Yeah, okay. She is down. I could take her horns. Ah, they're pretty... Yeah, they're not... For how for how much they weigh, they're not really worth a whole lot. Never mind. Alright. Looks like we're going down deeper and deeper. Which is fine by me. It's kind of exciting. Oh god! That's exploding. Sharon, stand back! Yeah, I'm hit too. Thanks for absorbing some of the blast for me. I appreciate that. And behind this door? Anything good? Ah, stairs. Go down these stairs. Deeper and deeper. Probably gonna find at least one more death claw down here. Landmine! Haha. <laughs> Got a sharp eye. I saw that landmine. And that one, which did not set off. Good. I guess we're going. Yeah, looks like we're gonna go down that way. Pick up this ammunition. And let's head down deeper into the cave. Sounds like I missed one. Oh, good grief. 
And there's a death claw off in the distance. Yep, just a regular death claw. Okay, hold on. We are getting flanked. We're getting swarmed. It's all right though. Once they get close enough, I can blast them pretty easily. I just don't really want to let them get close enough. Looks like there might be some good stuff down here. Let me just take some cover behind this counter. Okay, she did some damage, but that's fine. We've got a stim pack. Let's just loot this area. Looks like there might be some good stuff here. Well, there was some stuff. Ammunition and healing items scattered about here and there, but nothing really amazing. Hello. Let's see if this grenade launcher actually does any damage. It's pretty cool sounding. Oh, I want to get closer. Don't, okay, it's not doing enough. It's not doing nearly enough. You alright? You're fine. Yeah, that uh, grenade launcher was not as strong as I was expecting it to be. Alright, we're in a building now. I hear a helicopter or a vertebrate. Okay, we're in the open air apparently. Which means we're probably going to be facing Enclave soldiers and not Death Claws. Yep, speak of the devil. Popped. Alright, that's one down, but I'm sure there's going to be more. My best weapon is this alien blaster, so I'm just gonna advance as quickly as I can. Oh, jeez! Watch out, Sharon. Jesus. You're scaring me like that. Enclave Hellfire Trooper. This is gonna have to do. This is gonna be the best thing I can do at this point. Try and blast him with the alien weaponry. And try not to die in the process. Holy cow. Holy cow, you can take quite a lot of hits. Holy cow. No, these guys are so strong. All right, looks like this is gonna be a very, very slow burn. I'm gonna try and pick him off with the sniper rifle, but I don't think this is gonna be very effective. Take some Psycho, Diazepam for the damage resistance, and yeah, we'll take um, some Blood Packs, Buff Out, Alprazolam, I think that'll be good enough. Oh God, I literally picked up a couple of joints here. Yeah, sure, let's just take one, I guess. I can't... I can't... I can't... Okay, that was a bad idea, because now I can't stand up. I've, I've just... Alright, I've lost my motivation, apparently. There we go. Good. Alright. Yep, let's just do this while we're high. Is this what doing drugs is like? Everything becomes very orange? Because... I'll, I'll be honest, I have not ever smoked a marijuana, but I imagine that it's a lot more fun than not being able to see what you're doing. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna need to come down off this trip quickly. Let me just crouch down here in the corner and just wait for this to wear off. Alright, we're good now. We are nice and sober, ready to charge right into our death. Oh, here's only power works. Never mind, I guess we're done here. I thought we were going to have to go up and up and up, but no. Just need to go into this door right here. Broken toilet. That's not going to help me. That door requires a key. This terminal is locked very hard. Can't do much about that. Yeah, not enough science skill. Alright, we're going to have to go the long way around. Yep, looks like we are indeed. I'm going to throw a couple of grenades down there. Try and speed up the process. Good. That sentry bot is down. Let's scour the area, trying to keep our eyes open for any nearby enemies. Going deeper and deeper. More robots, probably. I'm going to guess there's going to be more robots. Okay, I can go through here at least. Oh, lordy. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, Sharon. Didn't realize he'd be appearing right in front of me. But, I disabled him. That's- Oh god, I died of radiation really quickly. Okay, didn't realize that was so terrible right there. Alright, this time, I'm gonna use my alien blaster. Using it like a shotgun. I'm gonna use it to clear rooms. Probably the smartest thing I can do right now. Take those medical braces. Sure, I've had a couple of crippled arms, so it's nice to resupply. You leave Sharon alone! Good job, Sharon. Ow! Of course. Of course he explodes. Why wouldn't he? Oh, oh, yep. Definitely the area where all the radiation is. Um, 
Right away in Radex, does that protect me? Uh, somewhat. No, no, it's pretty intense. It's very intense. You can go in there if you want, Sharon, but I can't go in there. But if I can't go in there, then where am I gonna go? Is there a way to shut off this radiation? I don't see any computers around here. I'll try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna regret it. Okay, good. I got through. Just gotta move quickly. Ow, ow, everything is breaking. Oh, Lord, I can't see what's going on. Too much radiation, too many crippled body parts. That door requires a key, cannot go through there. So just walk through here. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like the door is open already. Good, thank you, Sharon. I've been thanking you a lot lately because you've been doing most of the heavy lifting. And this must be the Tesla coil. Or maybe one of these is the Tesla coil. No. Now how do I shut off all this electricity? I'm assuming if I jump down, I'm just gonna die. There's gotta be a computer around here, right? How do I turn this thing off? Down here, open door. Uh, I think I'm getting closer. Any functioning computers? One over here. Remote access terminal I can't access, Never mind. Alien power cells though, yeah, that'll come in handy I guess. Two more shots for the fire lance. Alright, I don't see any way to turn off all this freaking electricity, so I hope I don't get zapped. I have a feeling it's going to be unpleasant if I get zapped. I, I seriously do not want to advance, there's got to be some way to turn off all this stuff. Can't blast it. Yeah, I, I knew it, as soon as I touch it I die, there's got to be a way to turn this crap off. Maybe if I throw a wrench in the works, literally. No, it did not help. I don't know why I thought that would work. I honestly don't know what to do. The thing is telling me I definitely have to go down here and get the thing. But if I touch it, I will die. There's got to be a way to turn this off somewhere. Oh. There is an emergency switch right here. Did that. Oh, there's more than one. And now I can grab it. Ow. I still got injured, unfortunately. I think. And we have taken the ladder out of that building place. And we are outside at Old Olney. Nothing is attacking us. Alright. Time to head south then, I guess. Heading all the way back to the Citadel. I do, however, want to stop by the National Guard Depot. So, we'll just, we'll just head in that direction if we can. South by Southeast. Well, that retrieval mission was not too bad. Sharon and I both escaped with our lives. I mean, I died, but, you know, eventually I got her there alive. And Sharon didn't die once, which is somewhat impressive. So we're just going to make our way back south towards the Citadel, stopping by the National Guard Depot on our way back. Ah, yeah. I still have an opiate addiction. Some of my body parts are crippled. I'll fix those in a second. And I'm getting tired, so my stats are starting to drop. So... It's in our best interests to make our way back to the Citadel pronto. Enclave soldiers are landing on that bridge next to us. That's fine. They can land there all they want. Let's just avoid them if we can. Keep going. They're shooting at us. We don't need to stop. Just let them shoot at us. Just put some distance between us and them, and it won't be a problem. Unless Sharon just wants to go crazy. Go ahead, Sharon. Knock yourself out. Okay, it looks like the National Guard Depot is somewhere over here, and indeed it is outside of DC, so I can get into it. A couple of robots are guarding it. Does not look... Yeah, okay, that is definitely the National Guard Depot. Let's just walk right in, I guess. Gun at the ready, because there are definitely going to be robots. That ex oh, I was not even near him. Come on. All right, looks like we're going to have to kill some... Oh, Lord. We're off to a great start, eh, Sharon? Let's take out some of these robots. Watching out because they will definitely explode. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Goodbye to Mr. Gutsy. Wait for you to detonate, then walk my way past you. One 1,000. Two 1,000. Okay, I guess that one is not going to explode. Oh, because he's been vaporized. Yeah, that would be why. Turrets, turrets. There are turrets. Um, a sniper rifle will do this, do the trick. 
Arm is a little shaky because I have run out of medical braces. So I can't use my two-handed rifle very effectively, sadly. And my chest is crippled. Ow, ow, and both of my... Okay. Very... I'm in very bad condition right now. And my headed. Oh, good. A concussion as well. So great. Thought I heard something. And the game crashed. Well, that probably works out well for me because now my body parts are not crippled and we can try this again. Ow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All four of my limbs got crippled at once. That's just... Alright. Nope. Third time's a charm. Good. Now, wait for him to explode. Come on! I... Seriously! I was like 10 yards away! Come on, for the love of God! I'm, I'm seriously, I can't, I can't move. This is as fast as I can go. I have no morphine and I have no medical braces. I, I can't do this. It would just take me literally a couple of hours to get back to the Citadel at this point. In real life, it would take me a couple hours based on how slowly I'm moving. So we're gonna try this again. I hear a lot of explosions going on. Some of them are being caused by me, some of them aren't. Okay, I think it's safe to advance now. Whew. All right, gotta watch out for the turrets. This time, gotta pick them off with a sniper rifle. Oh, one of my arms is still crippled though, so it's not gonna be easy. Got it, all right. Come on, you stupid robot. Hurry up and blow up already. Finally, took forever. All right, I guess that's where I'm going, because I apparently have not been down here yet. I have become addicted to Rad X. Uh, I'm just going to be crippled. I'm just going to deal with it. Just keep on going further and further and pray to God I find some medical braces. Oh good, more robots. I love robots. Yeah, it's all yours, man. Go crazy. All right. Behind this door, lots of stuff. I need medical supplies, but I doubt I'm gonna find it down here in the armory. Still, a man can dream. Okay, I have a fair bit of ammunition for the Fire Lance, honestly. So maybe I'll be able to use this. Much better than trying to use the shotgun, which is not very precise. Hello. Well, my arm is still shaky, unfortunately, but hopefully this will help. Just spray wildly, all right. I can't be precise because my arm is broken, so we'll just go ahead and use the captain's sidearm instead. If I'm not going to be accurate, then I might as well fire a bunch of bullets that aren't Oh no! He's going to explode! Let me get out of here. Just let me move. Let me move. Three first aid boxes. And I'm probably not going to find a single medical brace. Nope, that one was, that was locked and empty, just to add insult to injury. Great! Great! Everything is broken, but I've long since stopped caring. Let's just keep advancing. Just go ahead and let everything break broken. Who cares? Whatever. Just go ahead. I have a concussion. All my bones can be broken. Whatever. Just whatever. Get out of here, stupid robots. I hate you all. Just go down. Don't just I don't care. Go down. Go down. Just go down. All of you can just die. Death to all robots. Going round and round and round and round and round and up and down and... I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. Oh Jesus! Come on Sharon! Why? Why do you do that to me? You know what? That one was intentional, you jerk! Morphine! Okay. I found something. Morphine is good enough. It's not great. I'll take that duck and cover. But it's the first thing that I could actually use to help me out in a long, long time. So, grateful for that at least. Ooh. I activated a switch. That, okay. Apparently that's where we need to go, but there are more robots. Luckily I picked up some pulse grenades. Just gotta not get killed before I can throw it. Alright. I killed at least one of them down there.
Of course. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Every part of my body is crippled now. From head to toe, everything is broken. All 206 bones, fractured. All, all of my blood vessels have been burst. It's fine. It's fine. I don't even care anymore. Activate electrical switch. Okay, this is where I need to go, apparently. Yes, finally found it after running around in circles for half an hour. Getting all of my limbs shot. Lordy, lordy, I really hope this is worth it. Watch as it just turns out to be another set of power armor that I don't want. Ah, uh, don't have enough science access there. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay, um... How... How do I... How do I advance? I've got transcript number three here. Uh, number four and number one. Number five and number two. Paul, it's me, Tina. I heard back from my sister Candace. We couldn't get into a vault. 101, 87, didn't matter. All full to capacity. But my brother Alex is a soldier and he sort of stole the passcode for a secure army bunker. He did it for the family, but they caught him. Okay, I've listened to every transcript now. Is this... I can't... Come on, open the door. I've got every transcript. This is where I need to go for it, right? This has to be right. This just has to be. This couldn't have all been for nothing. Try and breach it with a rocket. This has never worked for me in the past, but... You know what? Maybe I'll get lucky this time. I know it's a gambler's fallacy, but I've been so unlucky that I've got to be lucky now, right? Locked. Very hard. Go away. I don't... I don't know what I've done wrong. What have I done to deserve this, Sharon? I've done everything right. I found all five transcripts. I followed the clues, even though you didn't give me a waypoint because it's not an actual quest. I've got every... I've got all four digits. I've fought so many robots and I got a concussion and broke every body part. And I just... I can't do it. I'm stuck. I can't... I can't get in. Oh my god, it's really happening. I can see the cloud. It's so big. Mom, I'm so scared. Ralphie, son. This is your father. We can't get into the goddamn vault without you. Get your ass over here now. You can have my number. It's six. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a mushroom cloud to walk into. Well, okay. Okay, I guess I'm leaving. I'm leaving empty-handed. At least I have both of my hands. I had to pick them off the floor, but I have them. I'm just... I've got nothing. I'm walking away with nothing. And the sun has set. Beautiful. Let me just turn on my light so I can see where I'm going. Alright, well... Sharon and I... We're just gonna... Head our way to the Citadel. Very slowly. Yes. Yes. Very many things are wrong with me. Take some morphine and get on my way. Unfortunately, I have consumed all of my Rad X, so I can't satisfy that addiction. But hey, hey, at least I can just walk around with my limbs all crippled and everything is just so messed up. That was a terrible, terrible journey. I don't know what I was supposed to accomplish there. I have no idea what I did wrong. It oh. felt like I did, okay, super, oh. oh good, oh good, good, great, nope. What can I do? What can I do in this scenario? I obviously have to get back as fast as I can, because if I don't, the morphine is going to wear off, and I'm not going to have anything that'll help me out here. So I've got to go as fast as I can. But if I try and advance without looking at where I'm going, I'm going to get killed by something or someone. Probably both. Keep firing at everything. Everything is hostile, and everything must die. Okay, I have found friendship heights. I'm just I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna well hobble, I guess. I'm going to hobble as back to the citadel as fast as I can. If you're feeling motivated, go ahead, Sharon. Go ahead and kill to your heart's content. I just I wanna I wanna get out of here. I wanna leave. I just don't wanna die anymore. Centaur. Super mutant. Oh no. Just go. Just go. Don't bother. No. 
If I take out my gun, I'm just gonna run slower, so just run as fast as I can. I hear on- yeah, a vertebrate is landing near my oh. position. Those are Talon ah. Company mercenaries, ah. I think. Ah. Just try and avoid them, just go around them. Just don't even bother. Jump in. Jump into the water. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I wish I had some Radex. Not only to satiate my addiction, but also to stop myself from being irradiated. Oh, now would be the perfect time to use them. It really would. Uh, yay, I am addicted to Radaway, as well as Radex. Just, yeah, great. <laughs> Why not? Just top that off. We're here. We're finally back. We're back in the Citadel. Alright, I don't know where Doc Sawbones is, but I know he's in here somewhere. I don't know if he can cure addiction, but I know he can fix my bones at least, so... I'll try and find him. Alright, uh, nope. I, I sincerely doubt this is where Doc Sawbones is. Oh good. Oh good. Good. I... Yup. That's pretty much how I feel right now. Just the weight of the world on my shoulders and everything is broken. And I'm just barely keeping going. Hello, Sharon. Yes, you can stand upright. Please don't rub that in my face anymore. Let's just make our way, make our way to the A ring, and uh, try and try and heal ourselves up. Eventually. Hello. Is anybody home in the A ring? You're gonna have to. Speak loudly, I can't find you, I'm practically blind. The Den. Don't think that's where I need to be. Um, wherever... Wherever Sarah Lyons is, that's where I need to be. Do you need something? Where do I begin? Barracks and B-Ring. Probably where I need to be. Barracks. Hospital. Hospital is where I need to go. Hello, Doc Sawbones. Good to see you. I think I might be addicted to something. I thought you had the look about you. Sure, I could help you, but it's not free. Please cure me. Okay, hold still. I don't want to make this any more painful than it already is. Medical procedure complete. Further instructions? Yes, yes, I have further medical instructions. Acknowledged. Please put my bones back in me. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. Holy cow, I can move again. I can move again! I have a concussion still. I think that'll wear off, but I'm also getting tired. Alright, that's fine. I can- I- It's getting late anyway, so I'll make my way back out to the beds that are out in the Citadel, and I'll just sleep on the beds that are just laying out open underneath the stars. Doing some light fire training, huh? Shooting at things you can't see? Seems like a bad idea. Seems like a very bad idea. But you know what? I'm full of bad ideas. So who am I to judge? And some beds. How's it going, man? Just uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna sleep in this bed for a couple hours. Alright. Okay. I'm fine. Everything is good now. Everything is back to peak condition. I'm probably a little hungry and a little thirsty. But other than that, I'm probably fine. Alright, well, now that it's morning, a brand new day, good, good. Yesterday was the worst day I've ever had. That is just, I don't think I've ever had a single day worse than that within this game. It's just, no, no disappointment compares to not being able to open those doors after all that effort. And no agony as much as slowly, slowly walking around. All right, where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? You found a Tesla coil? Yes. Excellent. I'll see to it that this reaches the scribes immediately. You've done good work, soldier. Are you ready for your next assignment? We don't have time to spare. Yeah, sure. I... I need a break. No, no, no rest for us. I'm good to go, I guess. What's next? Based on the data you brought us from the relay station, we've identified where the Enclave is basing their operation. 
It seems they have a second base of operations at Adams Air Force Base outside of DC. The only safe way to get there is through the presidential metro used by the government before the war. You're going to be on your own again for now. The rest of the Brotherhood will be providing a distraction so you can slip in undetected. Once you breach the presidential metro and get to Adams Air Force Base, look for the resupply crate. Inside, you'll find your new orders, and hopefully we can put a working Tesla cannon into your hands. Okay, looks like Sharon and I have our new objective. Shock value has been completed, and now we're on the next part of this quest. Who dares wins? Let's see. Georgetown West. Need to make my way... <laughs> Going back to the tepid sewers, am I? All right. Um... Doc Sawbones did not sell me anything. I don't have any medical braces. I don't know if there's anyone in here who would sell me medical braces, but I'm just gonna try and not get crippled anymore. Just try and avoid that if I can help it. I'm undersupplied right now. I've got plenty of stem packs, but no medical braces. And if I had some morphine, I'd feel a little more confident because not having medical braces would be okay, but I don't have any morphine. I don't have any medical braces, so... We're just going to make our way to the tepid sewers and eventually make our way to the presidential metro. Current status? Um, nope, not hungry, not thirsty, not tired. We are back to peak condition, but we don't have a whole lot in terms of being able to sustain that if we get a broken limb or anything. So we're going to have to try and play this pretty carefully. Hopefully, yeah, I mean, gosh, sewers... What could be down there in the sewers or in the presidential metro? Surely nothing dangerous could attack us. Surely we're at no risk of getting injured again. So that's what we'll do next time. We'll make our way to the presidential metro, through the tepid sewers, and try and find, um, try and find our next instructions. That will, that's what we'll do next time. Until then, my name is Mike, and this has been Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. Thank you for joining me.